Hi, everybody, welcome to another video. Today, we will rewind the 2015 Bollywood movie Drishyam. Without further delay, let's begin the video. The movie begins with a new police officer arriving in town to join the newly erected Padalam police station in Goa. While traveling through the station with a constable, he observes a man seated at one of the far ends, apparently named Vijay Salagankar. The freshly hired cop inquires if he is Vijay Salagankar, to which the constable responds positively. The constable tells the new policeman that Vijay Salagokar look like a fairly straightforward person but the look can be decisive because you wouldn't believe what he has done. As Vijay closes his eyes, the movie goes to a flashback. Vijay recalls watching a movie at work. He is a content businessman who owns and operates a cable TV service in Goa. He is obsessed with movies and never misses a screening because he has a cable television subscription. While watching the film, he complains to his staff member Josh that the action film he is seeing is not up to par. Josh told Vijay that he should make a movie in the future. Vijay also inquired about the status of the monthly fee collection. Josh said that it was almost finished and handed some cash to Vijay. Vijay Salgankar is an orphan who dropped out after the fourth grade. He is married to Nandini, and they have two children, Anju, his adopted daughter, who is in grade 12, and Anu, who is in grade 6. His sole hobby is watching movies. He has gained a lot of fame and support in his area for helping people out with the help of methods he learns from films. In the next scene, Vijay arrives home in the morning after spending the entire night at the office. Vijay greets his daughter Anju and his wife Nandini. Vijay then has breakfast with his wife and two daughters. During breakfast, Nandini and Anju recommended to Vijay that they go shopping in Panaji. Anju and Anu also requested for pizza and ice cream while in Panaji. Nandini told her husband, Vijay, that he couldn't even do these things for their family. Vijay stated that shopping can be done in a nearby town. Nandani told that majority rules, so she and her daughter decided to establish a majority. Finally, Vijay offers to take them to Panaji, the capital of Goa. In the next scene, the family travels to Panaji. They spend their time shopping and eating together. While having lunch at a shopping center, Vijay's daughter Anju asked her father whether she should attend a nature camp. Vijay soon agrees and allows her daughter to participate in the nature camp. Anju joins a group of other young boys and girls at a nature camp. During the camp, Sam, a rich and arrogant lad, takes photos and video of the girls in the nature camp. One of the females complains to Sam and cautions him not to snap images of them without their consent. Meanwhile, Sam began to follow Anju. Sam is the sole son of businessman Mahesh Deshmukh and Goa Police Inspector General Mira Deshmukh. After the nature camp, Vijay and his family travel to Pavelim to meet Nandini's parents. Vijay and his family, along with Nandini's parents and brother Rajesh, talk over lunch. During the conversation, Rajesh informed Vijay that he had joined a new political group called the Goajana Party, which is protesting a stone quarry 15 kilometers near Pavelim. According to Rajesh, the stone quarry has been shuttered since it is not environmentally sustainable. Rajesh also mentioned that there is a lake in the middle of the stone quarry. Nandini in consultation with her parents told Vijay to change the school of Anju which was quite more expensive. But Vijay declined because if one has the will to acquire knowledge it can be done from any school. Vijay and his family return home after lunch. Vijay went to his office as usual. Nandini prepares meals for the family. While Anju goes to the market to get vegetables. She met with Sam near her house on her way home from the market. Anju greets Sam and the two converse. Sam blackmailed Anju by showing her a video and threatening to remove it, if she agreed to have sex and return a night with her. Anju begged Sam to delete the video, but Sam refused and planned to meet her near her house at night. Sam visited Anju the same evening. And Nandini was with her. Her daughter informed Nandini. Nandini begs Sam to leave their family alone, but Sam refuses to remove the videotape unless his sexual request is met. Nandini begs him to leave Anju alone, and Sam agrees on one condition that she should have sex with him instead. Anju swings a lead pipe at Sam in an attempt to break the offending cell phone, but she hits him in the head instead, killing him instantly. Anju witnesses them burying Sam's body in a compost pit in the garden. 
When Vijay arrives from work the next morning, Nandini tells him about the incident. And he devises a plan to protect his family from the police. Vijay recalls various ideas and procedures from previous movies he has seen. Vijay gently picks up the SIM card and wraps it in paper. Vijay then tells his family not to worry. Vijay also instructs his family to close all windows and doors so that it appears that no one is present in the house. And he leaves the house to dispose of Sam's yellow car. While Vijay left with Sam's car, he is seen by the sub-inspector Lakshmi Kantgai Tonda, who has a grudge against Vijay. Vijay drives Sam's car on the highway and plans to dispose it. He remembers the stone quarry Rajesh mention which is 15 kilometers from Pavelim. While traveling he stops on a market and buys a used phone which he uses to put Sam's SIM card. Further Vijay drives on the highway and places the phone with inserted SIM on a highway truck. He then drives to Pavelim where he disposes Sam's car by letting it fall on a lake. Vijay then returns back to home. There Vijay consoles his family and advises them to stay normal as possible. He explains his family about the plan and says to stay alert because police will be interrogating them. The next day, Vijay drives his family to Panaji, where they visit an ashram, see a movie, have dinner, and stay in a lodge. Every interaction they have while traveling is planned and intentional by Vijay. Because Sam's death occurred on October 2nd. Vijay intends to have everyone believe that they were on vacation on October 2nd and 3rd. Mahesh and Mir inquire about their son Sam. According to Mahesh, Sam did not answer his phone. Mira dismisses it and informs Mahesh that he may be with his friend. Mira then tries to call Sam, but his phone is turned off. Mira then instructs her employees to collaborate and track down Sam's phone. While tracking, they discover that Sam's phone is on the move and then switches off. Mira begins an investigation after discovering that her son has gone missing. Following a preliminary investigation, Mira discovers that Sam's car was observed by S.I. Gaitonda near Vijay's house, and Sam's phone was also traced in Vijay's area. The local police first come to Anju's school and question her. However, the police discover that everything appears to be normal. So Mira summons Vijay and his family for questioning. Vijay Having predicted that the police would ultimately come calling, instructs his family on how to deal with the interrogations without raising suspicion. When questioned individually, the family sticks to their testimonies, and the cops are unable to establish a flaw in their explanations. As confirmation of the family's visit to Punjim, Vijay shows bus tickets, movie tickets, accommodation and restaurant bills. Mira questions the proprietors of the restaurants they visited, and their responses prove Vijay's justification. Mira understands that on the day of the incident, Vijay took the tickets and the bill, made friends with the owners, and went on the trip the next day with his family, proving his evidence and having the owners unintentionally tell the lie. Mira realizes she underestimate Vijay's ability by thinking he was only a fourth grade fail. Mira arrests the Salgan Kar family and Gaitonda employs hard force to extract the truth from them, despite the resistance of Vijay, Nandani, and Anju. Meanwhile, Mira finds out about Sam and his video of Anju from Sam's friend, Alex. Anju eventually caves down and admits to seeing a body buried in the compost pit. Authorities discover a dog dead while digging the compost pit. Vijay alleges to the media that Gaitonda physically mistreated both of his daughters, prompting an enraged Gaitonda to try to attack Vijay, but Vijay's in-laws retaliate, and a mob forms to beat up Gaitonda. Following the event, Gaitonda is suspended, Mira resigns, and the entire investigating team of the police station is transferred out, with the investigation now requiring judicial authorization. When Nandini questions Vijay about what he did to the body, he refuses to tell her, claiming that the mystery will remain within his mind and must leave him without a trace. Mira and her husband Mohesh meet Vijay at a seaside to apologize for the videotape and their son's disrespectful and pervert behavior, and to find out whether their son is still alive. They also explain that they are going to live with Mira's brother in London. Finally, Vijay cryptically admits to murdering Sam. As Vijay opens his eyes, the film returns to the present. In the newly built police station, he signs the register. While signing, the new inspector warns him that he can't be tricked and will definitely find out.
to which VJ responds with a smile that he is confident the local police force will defend its citizens. A flashback occurs as VJ left the police station in the present day, revealing that VJ buried the body beneath the new police station while it was being built. The movie abruptly ends with a blackout as he glances on both sides of the road. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to press the notification bell. Please do not hesitate to make any suggestions.